Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, we'll look at athletes who play more than one sport at Goshen College. Aaron Patrick comes to the studio to talk about coaching soccer and track. And Alex Rabagia talks about the volleyball season and his individual performance. All that and more coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Being an athlete in college can be very tough, but competing in two sports is an even bigger challenge. William Troyer has more on the story. Being a two-sport athlete and a full-time student is rare to see at the collegiate level. Sophomores Austin Brannigan and Brandon Watkins played basketball in the winter and are now transitioning to men's volleyball in the spring. Here is Brannigan on the similarities between basketball and volleyball. Practice is a lot more free. Um, there isn't as much conditioning, which I kind of like, but uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of fun, outgoing people on both teams, so I enjoy both. Watkins reflects on the scheduling and the smooth transition between the two sports. Well, since they kind of like, I didn't, once basketball ended and the practices were kind of at the same time, like four to six and then four to six with basketball too. So I really just kind of like do my basketball, my volleyball, and then homework and basketball, I did basketball and homework. So it's kind of like the same, the judgment was about the same. Watkins played volleyball in high school and now recognizes the talent improvement in college. I would say the transition from college to high school, or high school to college, it's, uh, it's a lot faster. So high school, like there wasn't, like there'd be like a good hitter, or, like good setter, but there wouldn't be a lot. And then like college, everyone's made like really good. Or, uh, so like the hitters are always a good. See, this is a lot faster pace. So I'd say it's, it's a, it was a big transition. Brannigan, in his first season of competitive volleyball, talked about the challenges the sport brings. Playing in volleyball, I've never played in my entire life, and I was nervous. I didn't know what I was doing, and I was just going all over the court. The men's volleyball team resumes action next Friday as they travel to Adrian, Michigan, to compete in the Siena Heights University Invitational. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer. While it may be difficult to participate in two sports, it seems to be very rewarding for those athletes. When we return, William Retroyer will be talking to two-sport coach at Goshen College, Aaron Patrick. I work for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago. It's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm William Troyer to my left. I'm with head coach Aaron Patrick for the Goshen College men's soccer team and assistant coach for the track and field team. Thanks for coming down to the studios today. Thanks for having me. You've been with the men's soccer team for five years now and the track and field team for three years. So you started coaching soccer and then you joined the track team. How did you find your way to that team? It's kind of like it found me in college. Um, uh, in college, I was a, a 400 meter hurdler. Um, I was uh, on the 4x4, four four, um, ran the open 400, basically did a little bit of everything. Um, and when Rustin got the head coaching job, he came down to my office and said, hey, you ran track. I need an assistant coach. What do you think? Um, and I love track in college. It's probably my favorite experience in college. Um, I wasn't as good at track as I was at soccer, but I was good enough that I could kind of hang a little bit. Um, and my best friends now were guys I w went to school with for, uh, for track and field, um, not soccer. Um, so when Russ asked me, I, I jumped at the chance. Um, I really missed it, was looking away to kind of get more incorporated with the campus. Um, and athletics has always been my avenue to, to meet new people, to be more involved, and it's, it's been awesome. Yeah, so coach, coaching two sports can be very tough, but you seem to handle it uh, well. So can you kind of take us through how hard that is to, to manage both? If it looks like I'm doing it well, I'm a good actor. Um, I feel like the number one thing that I focus on is my relationship with my athletes. It's what I always focus on with soccer. Um, it kind of helps that there's quite a few soccer players on the track team in my specific group. Um, so it's been um, a lot easier to transition between the two sports because I'm coaching some of the same athletes all year round. Um, I think just the fact that I love doing it, um, the fact that I 
yeah, like pouring into these athletes um, more than just in season. So if we've got so even the girls on the soccer team that are doing it, like Mara, um, I get to in interact with her all year round, which just makes for a, a deeper relationship with the, the athletes that I coach. Um, and then it's easy going to work when you when you care about the kids. Yeah, so finally, what has been the best part about getting to coach both the track and soccer team? Just the relationships, would you? Yeah, just getting to interact with the kids all year round. Um, and, and when you're with them more often, your relationship's deeper, so you care about them more, so you're more willing to work harder um, for them. Um, and, they're more, and it's reciprocal, so I have no problem getting kids to work hard for me um, because they know I care about them and because we're always working together. So. Well, thank you again for coming down to the studios today. Thank you. When we return, I will be with Alexander Rabagiev to talk about the men's volleyball team. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Alex Rabagiev, freshman volleyball player for the Goshen College men's volleyball team. Thank you for joining us today, Alex. Of course, thank you. So the team is nearing the end of its first regular season. Uh, what are your thoughts to this point of the season? As a first year program, I think we did uh, quite well. Uh, we could have uh, won a game or two more, but uh, we, we had a lot of injured players, which affected our game. And uh, we need to still uh, keep uh, working hard during the practices to perform even better for the end of the season. So how have practices from before you came to college and now in college, how have those changed? Uh, I played uh, two years professionally in Bulgaria, so uh, the structure here in America is a bit different. Uh, we are doing a lot of different uh, exercises during the practices that are kind of um, trying to uh, make, uh, for, exa for example, a connection between the setter and uh, the outside hitter, that because everybody here is new on the team and uh, we need to get to know to each other and know how to play as a team. Yeah, so you're third in the NAI in total kills and fourth in kills per game. How does it feel to be at the top of those categories? It's always an honor to be individually uh, placed on the spot, but uh, it's always a team effort that uh, makes uh, an individual player can go and grab some kills and uh, perform good. So it's all about the team. So five matches left after one season. Uh, what are your thoughts as you close out this one? So far the season has been tiring and we had a lot of uh, difficult games. Now we, we are left with a couple conference games and we need to stay motivated and uh, try to get as much wins as possible. Thank you again, Alex. When we come back, we'll look at a Goshen College professor and his time as a basketball player. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. There's a professor on campus who looks back on his basketball days at Goshen. Paul Kine, professor of Bible and religion at Goshen, reflects on his basketball career in high school and in college. Goshen College Bible, Religion, and Ancient Languages professor Paul Kime is known for his knowledge of religion and languages. What he is not known as well for is his basketball career. So Globe Sports took the opportunity to talk to him about his basketball career, first at his time in high school, then in college. Growing up, Indiana was known for basketball, who's your basketball. We played a lot, we played all the sports, but um, eventually when I got to high school, I uh, um, kind of left the others behind and I did mostly basketball. Yeah, so um, 
we had a good team. Uh, my brother was on the team. Uh, uh, two of my closest friends from high school were on that team. And so um, we, you know, we had kind of set goals for ourselves and uh, thought we had what it took to be good. One of my favorite memories is uh, a game when I was a senior. We were playing Grace. Grace College was our big rival in those days. Bethel some, but not as much as Grace. And uh, we were playing Grace, and it came down to about five seconds. Uh, we were two points down, and I dribbled up to about three-quarter court and let one fly, and it went in. So, of course, today that would have won the game, but it just tied then. And so we went into, I think, eventually triple overtime and lost. But it was still a great memory. You can catch him playing noon ball at the Ruth Gunner Gymnasium throughout the week. For Globe Sports, I'm Zach Begley. That wraps up this episode of the Sports Corner. Be sure to tune in next week for more stories and interviews about your Goshen College Maple Leafs. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.